Good day, Lords and Ladies, welcome back to Atuk the Desolation. Now, um, I believe the developers have said that uh, the game is coming out, uh, I think, like the eight, somewhere time between the 18th and the 20th of this month. So we haven't got long left until the full release, and I can't wait for that. In the meantime, we're going to sort of check out this. Uh, do we want to take the scavengers in their own base? Not yet. There's only seven of us. These guys are attacking us. They're after the relic. There's five of them. Oh, we should be able to take them. Yeah, defend. They're here for the relic. So what are we looking at? Oh, the range unit is like super far away. Okay, that's fine with me. We'll just do this. Um, go here. Here, here, here. Do that. You can move. Actually, no, we've got to undo that and go move here. Shield bash. Automatically kill him off. Um, move here. Raise terrain. <laughs> You're going to get life leech, and we're going to put rejuvenate on you as well because you're going to take a hit. You're going to run up to him. You're going to move here. You're going to move here and do shield ally from enemy attacks. You're going to move here and shield bash him into the other guy. Got poisoned, which is not great. We're going to move him here. Leech life on him. Uh, you're going to go here if you're able and smack him. Which triggers rejuvenation. You do that. You move there and stab him. So we can only attack him. He's got to get another range attack off, which is not fantastic. Um... I thought I was going to do a backstab. Uh, let's move here. And we'll do bash. Retaliation. Agus on him. Or Agus. So he doesn't take a hit. Gets counter attack off, but we kill him anyway. And you could do this. Can't move. Do that to trigger an attack. Excellent. Nice combination. They'll be back. Is there anything worth picking up? That's not too bad. But I want to try and save my resources. Um, okay. I'm going to go down here and look for more villages. Beasts everywhere. Okay, there's a party. 
It's a scavenger defenders. It's going to be... We could take the stronghold if we wanted to. I'm trying to look for settlements because we need to basically get out of here. And I'm pretty sure we cleared out most of them. Unless there's a couple up here we missed and then it's going to be a long trip back which I'm not particularly enthralled with. Ah, settlement there. Um, yeah, we'll fight the vampires. Your head is wanted. Scout to report a group of bounty hunters. Okay. Yeah, we'll help. Ugh, that's a lot of vampires. Okay. There we go. What's more blood suffering sacrifice? Right, so we just need to kill these guys off. Okay. Don't think my barbarian can reach them this turn. <laughs> First of all, let's move. Then we'll put lifesteal on him. Along with rejuvenation. You're going to move up here and we'll switch him for him in the turn order. You're fine. And you're going to have to take the long way around. This isn't the best terrain setup, to be honest. Okay, so... Shield ally. Life drain for him. That's nasty. Okay. Patience. Excellent. Kill him out, right? Problem is that vampire is going to become a pain. Right, Aegis goes up. I think I've got double Aegis on him right now. This guy is determined to get himself killed. Gonna go here so they can't get the height advantage. You're good. Shield ally. He's going to leap down at us, which we block. And we get a counter-attack off, which kills him. Okay, that was not great. 
Hmm. Yeah, because you know, folks, that's that's a fantastic attack to use against a vampire that can like drain your blood and your essence. Fortunately, we have high ground advantage. So, shield ally, you got to go there and finish him off, which boosts your stats up even more. That that relic is those relics that he has are really powerful. Unfortunately, it does mean we'll never be able to take them off him. Uh, crit hits, unknown attack of Tarakis, bleeding, leech, life. Um, I want to save it for some. Say there's some really nice traits that I want to get. Right, how are we looking for medicine? Gonna buy a couple bits of medicine because it always increases in price. We got ten. Right, what do we want to get? Rusty Rax. Is there any plus gear here? No. Okay. So, Beasts are gone, which are nice. Manage Party. Uh, vitality, please, and get keep his concentration high. Your artifact should be relatively almost maxed out by this point. Yeah. Um, get yours up to 90 for your, your focus and boost your vitality um, same with you more hit points, a bit more damage so you need helmet and a sword you're okay yeah okay so we need let's see what That, that, an axe for starters. So, he's one that does less damage. He needs that. Okay. Oh, it's because it's got the fixed skin. Uh, well, that's annoying. Well, I can take fixed skin off. Give him that. He gets more health. He gets the better helmet. So we can churn that, churn that. Okay. Anything here we want? No. Gotta buy one more piece of medicine, so we got 14. And I'm going to just quickly step up here to see we haven't missed any towns. Yeah, sent after us. Okay, so we're going to attack this settlement. So I want to try and find the location to get into the marsh. Right, okay. Uh, they got a couple of range, oh, they got a lot of range units. Okay, so we need to be quick. Um, you get here. Let's get this done. He's dead off the bat. Okay. You're done. Blood drinker on him. Rotate him. You stop making your way around there. Slightly bad placement, I'm not going to lie. But 
it is how it is. Shield ally. Because they're going to start shooting us. They have no healers though, they have no clerics, so we're okay. Okay, let's start. Let's finish him off. Some extra health. They eat flat they eat his flesh, so now they're even more powerful, which is disturbing as anybody's business. Lifesteal Rejuvenator They have yet to break through his shield wall, which is nice. We'll push him down there. He's got engaged, he's got life regen. This guy's gonna be a pain though, because he's gonna Yeah. He's gonna do that. Um I can't put him here because he'll shield bash him. So let's do uh obvious target. Get a bit of height advantage. Um move here and we'll bash him into him maybe get a bit of reduced momentum he's okay where he is for now when those two are going there don't need anything else no he can hold his health oh they're gonna get yeah back attacks off but not for long Trusty annihilated him with a single blow. He's panicking. Um, going to move to here and then going to stab him because we have height advantage. He's got life gain. He's engaged, which means he can only attack that target. And um, we're getting life support from him. Um, going to move him here. Got to bash him into that terrain and stun him. You're going to move up here and you're going to do lead. Which causes everyone to attack. Just lovely. You're poisoned. You gotta stay on that. Unfortunately, I can't knock you into a pit. So I'm just gonna basically hack at you. I know it causes life regen. Move here. Kill him off, please. <laughs> Nicely done. Nice hits are adding up. <laughs> Smack him. Excellent. You're going to do this. Doesn't really do much damage, but it causes people to attack him. Breaks his armor, which is nice. And we've got to finish him off with a stab. Excellent. Captain Sights. Natural resistance. There we go. Very powerful. Um, natural resistance, poison and bleed. Very good. It's one of the 
personally, it's one of the best ones to get early on. Get that up, get that up. Get his concentration up and more strength damage. Okay. I'm going to search the location, search the tunnels, and here we go, down into the caverns, the next layer. Tunnels lead to a huge cavern, the passengers are so perilous asleep, but if we descend, we want to be able to return, we may need to take this route to find for cure, or we can return later. Descend. The Swamps. You have discovered a huge cavern system through the surface. This zone is called the Swamps, and it's known for its being inhospitable and dangerous. You must overcome the Swamps' mutated humanoids and rapidly recover it with rapidly recovering abilities and dirty battlefield tactics. You may encounter new objectives and quests during the battle, so pay close attention. So this is the Swamp. This is the next area of the game, folks. I'm happy I have been able to sew this off to you, because I really, really wanted to. Right, so let's start off. No more Valdor outposts. Yeah, let's attack. So what are we facing? Ooh, these guys. Okay, these guys are actually really nasty. These are vampire hunters. Um, and their heavy crossbowmen are no joke. So we are going to do the smart thing, folks. Which is that we are going to pull back. And we are going to wait. So. Ugh, the Valdarian soldiers, they're tough opponents indeed. Do we really think we can beat them? Right. So. Seal your ally. You're in an okay location. Get lifesteal up on you. Ah! Okay. We can fight these guys. The, this guy's got a lot of armor. This guy's got armor. These guys have really nasty ranged weapons. Okay. So, maintain that. That's nasty. Put rejuvenate on him. Lifesteal on him. I mean, we could start this fight straight away, but that's going to be on the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know where the heavy cross was. The heavy crossbows are horrific. Because you can see they do that. And have arm penetrating swords. And we're out of range. Where the, what is the big guy? Because this is where the big guy's gonna go. Yeah. So you're gonna fall back. You're gonna go down here and deal with this person. Um, and you're gonna cycle around because you don't want to be where near that poisonous fungus. Range support versus bloodening, which is always very nice. Smash through his shield. And through his chest plate, because he's got a lot of armor on him. But we managed to kill both of them relatively quickly. He's got to move up. Yeah, as you can see... These guys are no joke. Um, so we're going to move here. We're going to do Aegis on him because his armor's about to break. And you're going to go up here. Uh, I don't think I can get anyone from this range. No. Let's start smacking away armors. Right. Bash and move him. You're okay. 
You've got the nasty job of taking on this person. Because I can't remember, I pretty saw the- I'm just lucky got us so much damage from his ability. Yeah. No, he's down, they're panicking. Right. Let's get here. We'll bash him again to drop down to a much lower level. And then we'll go we'll move here to heal him. The swamps are much tougher. The enemies tend to have a lot more armor and lots more damage, a lot more abilities. But we should be able to deal with them. The irony is they are actually just straight up vampire hunters. Like all jokes aside, they are predominantly just straight up vampire hunters. Uh, he's out of out of charge. You're okay, you're okay. You can get down here. He's stuck in the hole, he's stunned. And we can finish him off. Got a nice axe, got some of this, some of that, and we got some new items. We're in maximum focus of reach, gain critical strike for the next attack, very powerful, normal critical hit and lock hit, mobilization target for one turn, stunned on back to begin to begin, your first three strikes are always crit hits, which is really powerful. So we've got to extract that. So we're here. No one's leveled up. Uh, he's got bleed criticals. That isn't much difference, to be honest. It has... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to chuck that. Give him the... Actually... It's probably... Actually, I can't give him that. So, yeah, he's going to have that. It's the best thing for him to have. And we're going to put a cut in here, folks. If you've liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. This is Utuk the Desolation, and we are in the swamps. And I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye.